Divine Ones. Come on in, come on in. Tap on in, tap on in. Go on, put y'all location in the comments, baby. Let me see where y'all tuning in from this evening. Put y'all locations down there. Hey, Tequila. Y'all put y'all locations down there in the comments, baby. Let me see where y'all tuning in from this evening. I love you too, Joanne. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Come on, get tapped in, baby. Tap in, tap in. I'm hitting y'all with, with an evening special. An evening special, baby. My energy high. I just got finished working out, baby. And I just want to come on here and share in the good energy with y'all. Good spirits, baby. Ohio, Los Angeles, plus car is sleep. <laughs> car is sleep, baby. So I, I hurry up and feel got finished on that treadmill, baby. I said, ooh, let me go ahead. Let me go ahead and hit them with a little something. I said, Lord, what can I throw on them this evening? I feel something in my spirit. So God gave me something for y'all. Gave me something for y'all. This is going to be an elevation message. I don't even know if you could share the live on Instagram. Can you share the live on Instagram? If you could share it, y'all share it. I don't even know how that works. But if you could share it to your page, share it to your page. Tell everybody we live because this is going to be an elevation message. France in the highest, baby. Detroit. Come on, Detroit. Memphis. Come on. Memphis, Mississippi. Come on, come on, come on. And if we have time, I want to bring some of y'all on camera. Maryland, yes, I'm going to bring some of y'all on camera, if time permits, for some testimonials, baby. I want to, listen, if, if this word you've been getting been changing your life, if it's been transforming you, if you have seen some elevation since you've been tapping in, baby, you've been coming on the Instagram live, Jersey, St. Louis, I see y'all. You've been coming on these lives, you've been attending these master classes, you've been reading the books, you've been getting the courses at Latoya Kill Academy, and you done seen some growth, you done seen some evidence in your life. I'm gonna bring some of y'all on camera, baby, so y'all can testify. Y'all know how they used to have testifying service. They used to do the little uh testifying in the devotion service at church. That's what we're gonna have on here today, baby. I'm gonna try to bring a few of y'all on camera. Oklahoma, Fresno. California, Mobile, Alabama, Jackson, Orlando. Yes. Can you please talk about haters watching you again? I'm going to talk about it, baby. We're going to talk about it. South Africa. South Africa in the building, baby. Oklahoma in the building. I'm working, but I definitely have seen growth. Yes, yes. If y'all have, listen, I want to hear about it because people need to hear that. People, It's some people that just not getting on their journey, and it seems like what they want is so far away from them. It seems like y'all know how it is when you first get started, when you take that first step, and you got a long journey ahead of you. So it do people good to hear, okay, you started three months ago and you here. You see what I'm saying? You started six months ago or you started a year ago. When you doing this, wow, that give other people hope. Rome, Georgia, baby. Columbia, Elgin, all been in Georgia. In that thing. Las Vegas, New Orleans, baby. Jacksonville. Yes. Yes. Okay, so... Like I said, this is an elevation message, okay? And God gave me revelation. He said this is not going to be for everybody. He even gave me an exact number. God said it's going to be 1,000 people. It's going to be 1,000 people that's going to hear this message, and they're going to give birth to something. Listen to me. When you hear this today, when I finish dropping this thing on you, you're going to leave off this live pregnant. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you, baby, because this thing's so fertile, you're going to get pregnant. You're going to get pregnant, baby. Somebody say pregnant with purpose. Woo. Put that in the comments, baby. Say pregnant with purpose, pregnant with purpose, because you're going to leave off this live pregnant with purpose, baby. That's it. And start that LLC. Y'all going to be starting them LLCs, baby. Y'all going to be starting them nonprofit organization, baby. Y'all going to be writing them books. Y'all going to be traveling all over the world, baby. You're going to be tapped into kingdom living. God told me the goal and the purpose of tapping in with Toya, the goal and the purpose of everything that I'm doing. God said, we're going to impact and we're going to influence one 
billion divine ones. Do you understand me? He said it's divine ones out there that ain't even woke up. They don't even know they divine ones. But he said, you're going to wake him up. You're going to wake her up, baby. And God told me, he said, this started with you, but it won't end with you. Come on now. He said, it started with you, baby. But God said, I'm, I'm, I'm rising up some leaders. I'm birthing some leaders, baby. God finna impregnate y'all with some stuff tonight. He finna drop that seed in you, baby. And let me tell you something. It's going to be just like how it is with that baby in the womb. From the moment fertilization happened, baby, transformation, that thing burst into transformation. And God said, from the moment you leave off this live, you're going to burst into transformation. But God told me, he said, there's going to be a lot of people that's going to come across because he said most of them spectators. Okay. We just got to go on to say that we already, well, some folks don't know that. So let me put that out there. That this is why God told us, this is why he told me, don't be drawn by the numbers. Don't be led by the numbers. So in, in this world we live in, it's so easy to get caught up in the likes. It's so easy to get caught up in the shares. Oh, we refreshing every couple minutes. We trying to see how many views we got. Who, who, who on the live today? Who on the live tonight? Oh, what was the highest count? And this, that, and the third. But God said, uh-uh, uh-uh. He said, that's quantity. I want you to focus on quality. So he said, they're going to be a whole lot of people the number will be great that will hear this message, that hear all the messages. The number going to be great. But he said the people that execute, the people that take action, come on now, the people that put one foot in front of the other, he said 1,000, 1,000. It's a small portion. It's a small percentage. And God said that going to be 1,000. It's going to be at least 1,000 people. Now, I want y'all to think about that because on my YouTube channel alone, I have 150,000 subscribers. And God say a thousand. Out of everybody that's going to come across this message, he said it's only going to be a thousand. Only a thousand. Come on now. I ain't math wasn't my number one subject, but that's less than one percent, ain't it? That's <laughs> that's less than one percent, ain't it? Come on now. So be in that number. Somebody put that in the comments. Say I'm in the number, baby. I'm in the number. Whether you're catching it now on the live or you're going to catch it later on the replay, you in the number. You in the number. So what I gave y'all this morning on Tap In with Toya was more, it was more on the spiritual side, which I am a spiritual person. So anything I give y'all is going to be spiritual. But this right here, this evening, this is going to be leaning more towards the business side. But I want you to understand that if you are a kingdom ambassador for Christ, you got to stop thinking that business stuff is for other folks that you just serve in the church and you just do what you need to do in the church and you just make sure this straight and that straight. No, if you are a kingdom ambassador, <laughs> you are a business woman. Do you understand me? I ain't talking about religion. I ain't talking about you religious. Cause see, when you religious, you got to wait on somebody else to come tell you what you need to do. You got to wait on somebody else to come get you in line. But when you an ambassador, I don't, I don't preach and teach religion. Mm -mm. I preach and teach kingdom. God said we birth in leaders. And y'all finna get a whole, listen, listen, listen. Y'all finna get a whole nother, a whole nother accountability. You thought you done seen something. You about to get a whole nother level of accountability from me. God said don't play no game no more. He ain't playing game with me, so I can't play no games with y'all. Do you understand me? And, and a lot of what you hear, some of it going to feel good. Some of it ain't going to feel good. But if you want to grow, it going to help you. Come on now. If you want to grow, it going to bless you. Now, if you want that, oh, God said this and God said that. And Toya, give me something to tickle my ears. Give me a prophetic word. Prophesy to me. If you own that stuff, then you have to go back and look at some stuff from last year or stuff from two years ago. You, just, you don't want to grow. You just want a little something that's going to make you feel good about your situation. You just want to hear, oh, this my season. Oh, this my time. But it don't do me good or nobody else no good. Come on here and tell you it's your season, it's your time. If you ain't executing, if you ain't putting in that work, God is within you, but God ain't going to do it for you. So guess what that means? You got to get your behind up. You got to put that, you got to get up out that chair watching Netflix with that more control. Come on now. You got to put that more control down. Y'all know how we say more control. Put that more control down. Turn that Netflix series off. You can tell me everything that done went on on that Netflix series. But you ain't started your LLC. Come on now. 
You can tell me everything. You can tell me from A to Z, beginning to end, what happened in that Netflix series. But you ain't in your purpose. Come on now, you ain't tapped in. So this is going to be for my business folks. And if you, like I said, if you kingdom, then you a business person. Because we done talked about this. God is a businessman. Jesus said, I must be about my father's what? Did he say, I must be about my father's religion? Uh-uh. He said, I must be about my father's business. So I'm going to tell y'all, you going to get... You still going to get some preaching from me, but more than anything, you're going to get education in this season. You're going to get education from me and you're going to get accountability. So if you don't want to grow, you got to exit stage left, baby. If you don't want to be held accountable, you got to exit stage left, baby. If you just want something to tickle your ears, then you got to go listen to some of them other preachers out there, baby, because I'm, I'm going to hold you accountable. I'm going to educate you first because you can't be held accountable on what you don't know. So I'm going to educate you first. And then you're going to be held accountable. So understand that if you listen to this word, listen, I'm expecting the number to drop. I want the number to drop. Listen, because as you listen to this word, you can no longer say, I don't know. You can no longer say, I didn't understand. Come on now. You can no longer say, Lord, I didn't know what to do. Didn't nobody show me. Didn't nobody tell me. You can't say that no more. Ignorance ain't going to be no excuse. The moment you hear knowledge is why it's so important that we shouldn't take knowledge for granted. Because the moment that you hear knowledge, you will then be held accountable for that knowledge. You're going to be held accountable for that. So if you ain't ready to execute, you ain't ready to take action. That's right, baby. Fair warning. If you ain't ready to take action, you got to exit stage level. Don't even hear it. It'll, it'll do you better to not even hear it. It'll do you better not even listen to it. So this is what we talk about tonight. Y'all ready? Get your journal. Get your blue ink pen, baby. Because like we said, if you're a kingdom person, you're a business person. I don't want to hear that stuff about Toya. I don't know how to run no business. Toya, I don't know nothing about all this stuff. I don't want to hear that. Because how you going to impact and how you going to influence for the kingdom of God and you don't have a service, you don't have something to serve people. The business is not about the money. It's, and yeah, we're going to be talking about money, but it's not about the money. What do we say? It's not the money that you want. It's the feeling that the money gives you. It's the financial freedom. It's the time that you get back. Come on now. That's what you want. And that's and, But in order to get that, you got to get the money. You see what I'm saying? Because of the world that we live in, in order to get that, you got in order for you to dominate the way God intended for you to dominate, you got to play by the rules. You got to play by the rules. Bible say we got to be wise. We got to be wise as a serpent, gentle as a dove, always impacting and influencing for kingdom. But at the same time, we wise. We know the laws of the land. We, we do things decent and in order. We don't we don't wait for God to feel sorry for us because he ain't never going to feel sorry for you. I don't care how much. I listen, I didn't, I'd have been in some low seasons where I cried, phone at the mouth, rolled on the floor. And I thought God was going to feel sorry for me. And guess what? I stayed in that season until I woke up to the power that was in me and I got up and snatched my stuff. So we got to stop waiting on God to drop a bag on us. Stop waiting on God. See, that's what religion teach you. Stop waiting on God and expecting God to feel sorry for you because it ain't going to happen. He says, I put everything in you that you need, but you got to get up and use it. So what was the one of the first commandments that God gave to us? He said, be fruitful. Come on now. He said, be fruitful and multiply. Replenish the earth. Rule, subdue. This is your land. This is what God told me. He's, and he's saying this to you. This is your land. He said, look out your window. That's your land. This is your territory. Look at the sky. Look at the clouds. Look at the trees. Look at the grass. Look at, he said, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is that man. This is your territory. This is what I have given to you. You got to think like that. You got to think just like that. You got to say, this is this is what God gave to me. This is the day that he made for me. And I'm going to rejoice and I'm going to be glad in it. And this is the territory that he gave to me. And I'm going I'm to take my gift. I'm going to take what he gave me and I'm going to go out there and I'm going to dominate with my gift. I'm going to dominate with my gift. And in order for me to do that, I need, I need the income. I need the income. Come on now. In order for me to make the influence, I need the income. So this is why we got to get the income right. 
how to turn your yearly income into your monthly income. That's what we're talking about, baby. And this kingdom. Because like I said, kingdom ambassador, you a businessman. You a businesswoman. Come on now. Glory be to God. How to turn your yearly income into your monthly income. Y'all put that in the comments, baby. Put that in your journal. Because I'm going to be giving y'all five steps. Five steps, baby. When I first got in this thing with God, I told God, I said, God, I want to be an influencer for you. I want to tell the world about you. I want to go, I want to go stand on territory in Africa and preach your word and teach your word and make disciples. I want to go stand on territory in China and preach your word, teach your word. I want to go stand in, in, I want to go to every state in the country. I go all to Alaska, baby. I want to stand all in the igloo and tell your word and preach your word and, and go and make disciples out of people. And God told me, he said, in order for you to have that influence, you're going to have to have the income. And in order for you to get the income, you got to get your mind right. I like that, baby. Kingdompreneur. Come on now. Kingdompreneur. That's I am to, to racial. Kingdompreneur, baby. That's what we birthing. We birthing leaders. We got enough followers. Somebody put that in the comments, baby. Say, we got enough followers. We don't need no more of them. We don't need no more of them. That's the masses. That's 99% of the population. That's more than enough. We got plenty of followers. We need some more leaders. We need some more leaders. And y'all write this down too. It's room enough for all of us to lead. If I am the only leader, then I failed. I failed. I'm a successful failure. If I'm the only leader out of all of this that I'm doing, and, and I don't have somebody that, that held on to my word and what I was saying and took it and ran with it and produced with it, I'm a failure. I'm a failure. Because if I did all of this for me and nobody, no, and, and get this too, we got to put ourselves around people that are hungry like that and want to grow. You can't keep casting your pearls to swine. It's some good stuff that God put in y'all. It's some good ideals that God put in y'all. But you will not make the influence that you're supposed to make if you keep casting your pearls to swine. You keep sharing your ideals with people that don't even think like you think. They not a go-getter like you a go-getter. They ain't on that grind like you is. They ain't, they ain't seeking out the God like you is. So you got to connect with like-minded people. And that's who you share your ideals with. You got to get in masterminds. You got to get in mentorship groups. You got to put yourself in new environments. That's a tip right there, and that ain't even on the list. If you trying to turn your, your yearly income into your monthly income, come on now. And let me just say this too, because I believe in practicing what you preach. <laughs> I ain't a naked person up here trying to give y'all some clothes, okay? I ain't no hungry person trying to give you some food, because I can't give you something. Y'all better catch that now. I can't give you something that I ain't got. So if I'm talking to you about something, then that must mean that I know what I'm talking about. Even though there's some folks out here that are telling y'all about stuff and they don't know what they're talking about. But I, but, I, but I have too much respect for my craft to come on here and talk to y'all about something that I don't know about. So know and understand that anything that I come on here and talk about or teach and share with y'all, I live that for myself. I went through that process for myself. And this is why I tell y'all, when you go through stuff, when you're going through your process, you need to be journaling that. You need to be documenting your steps. Because I kept a journal, because I documented my steps throughout my process, now I can reach back. What they say, uh, reach one, teach one. Teach one, reach one. Now I can reach back and I can teach somebody else that want it. Come on now, somebody that want it. And I'm telling y'all, don't be wasting your time with people that don't want it. Because it's going to burn you out. It's going to burn you out. You pouring out all your good stuff. You pouring out all your ideals. Uh, your, and you got some good stuff. You got some million. God done gave you some million dollar stuff. Be careful who you share your stuff with. Because everybody ain't worthy of it. That's a side note. Number one. Number one. That's it, baby. You got to document the process. Number one. How to turn your yearly income into your monthly income. Number one, and this will be number one for anything you try to do. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And then all other things will be added unto you. 
anything you want, listen to me, anything you could ever, anything good that you could ever want, anything good that you could ever desire, it's in your inheritance already. The kingdom of God is your inheritance. God had that set aside for you before the foundation of the world. Everything. It, listen, there's nothing that you could want or desire that God didn't already think of. What the scripture say? With God, all things are possible. Every good possibility, every possibility that's open to you, God put it into your inheritance. It's in the kingdom of God. This is why he tells us to not go out looking for worldly things. Don't go out there looking for fulfillment because you will never find it. Don't go out there running after money because you'll never get it. Money will always escape you. It'll always get away from you. And you'll be constantly chasing after the bag. You'll be, I, I remember my days of chasing after the bag. I used to be tired as a dog, baby. I used to be working two full-time jobs. I'm in my bag. I'm in my bag. And I was so broke down, I couldn't even see my children because I'm going from one job to the next. Going from one job to the next. So some had to click in my head and say, fool. You you so tired, you can't even spend the money. How many of y'all been like that? You working, 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 you getting the money, you getting the bag, but you so tired, you can't even spend the You can't even enjoy your money. You can't even enjoy your husband. You can't even enjoy your wife. Your children growing up, and you working. Some of y'all know I'm telling y'all the truth. You done, you done raised your children grown. You done raised your children, they grown, and you work your whole time. The whole time your children were coming up, you worked. You never had a chance to enjoy your children. You never had a chance to enjoy your husband. You never had a, some of y'all, Lord Jesus, some of y'all done buried spouses. And you feel bad about the time that you lost, that you that you could have, that you've been working on somebody broke down job, putting hours in for these folks. And that was precious time that you could have been spending with your husband, precious time that you could have been spending with your wife. That's why this message right here is so important. Your parents, exactly. That's why this message is so important. It's not about the money. It's about what having the money is going to give you back. It's going to give you your time. See, you right now you train some of you. You train your time for money. And you will always come up short. When you train your time for money, you will always come up short. When I worked on my job, they paid me $14 an hour. They paid me $14 an hour. And why is that? I didn't know who I was. Come on now, they're going to help somebody. I didn't know who I was. I thought that was something. I didn't know who I was. But when I woke up to who I was, and I realized how valuable my time is, you let some, <laughs> baby, $14, no ma'am, no ma'am, not for an hour of my precious time, not for an hour of my precious time. But why? how can I say that now? Because my mind changed. I had to change my mindset. I had to reprogram myself, and I had to see my value. I had to see my value and I had to see what I was worth in God. I had to seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And now that I know, now that he has opened my eyes to what I'm worth. Come on now. The real value is on the inside of you. But you got to get tapped in. You got to tap into to the kingdom. Everything. The money that you want. Let's just say your, your, let's just say your yearly income is, is, is $50,000. Yearly in the world, you make it fifty thousand dollars yearly. But if you can think of the possibility in your mind that I can make fifty thousand dollars a month, I can make fifty thousand dollars a month. I can turn my yearly income into my monthly income. See that possibility? What did the scripture say? With God, all things are possible. So with that possibility, it's in the kingdom. It's in the kingdom. You earning $50,000 a month, you know where that is? It's in the kingdom. TJ. Y'all excuse me, my son. He get carried away on that game. And he gonna be on walk car. TJ. You too loud. $50,000 a month. Or let's say $20,000. $30,000. Come on now. You earning that per month. That is already in existence. It, it, it's happening right now. It was already yours. Whatever you can think of. And this is the thing. Get this. Whatever number you can believe is yours. 
It's yours. What did Jesus tell us, baby? Come on now. What the scripture say? According to your faith. Be it unto you. That's it, baby. Please don't wake Kari. Ooh, ooh, uh -uh. Let him sleep. <laughs> Let him sleep, baby. According to your faith. Be it unto you. So whatever you can believe. If that number is 5000 a month. If that number is 10000 a month. You got to first start off with what you can believe. Don't try to jump for the big time because that's what they said you should want and all this and that. No, we don't. We're not going to get the race. ain't give it to the swill. We ain't going to get there overnight. You got to grow in your faith. You graduate in faith. Faith is like school. You don't go from kindergarten to 12th grade. It's, it's levels to that. <laughs> Y'all put that in the comments, baby. Say it's levels to this thing. You don't go from kindergarten to 12th grade. Mm mm. Uh -uh. It's tests you got to take. It's, it's certain, you know, certain levels you got to pass. First grade, second grade, third grade. You go from elementary school to middle school. And then once you have spent about three years in middle school, junior high school, then you eventually work your way up to high school. It's the same way with your faith. When you start out with your faith, it's mustard seed. It's mustard seed. But God said we can work with that. <laughs> that's why the scriptures say faith the size of a mustard seed. But that's just the beginning. That's it, baby. It's levels to this. That's just the beginning. I'm going to try not to make this too long. So let me go on. Let me go on. So number one was seek the kingdom of God. Okay? We're talking about how to turn your yearly income into your monthly income. And I think a lot of people forget that I am a business mentor. I'm a, I'm a kingdom woman. I'm an ordained minister, baby. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a speaker. I'm a life coach. But I'm a... I'm a business woman. <laughs> I'm a business mentor because if you're a kingdom ambassador, you 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 got to know something. You got to know a thing or two about business. Come on now, you got to know a thing or two about business. And if and if you say you kingdom, come on now, if you say you kingdom, I should see. I I need to see a little something. I understand them beginning stages. And you first start tapping in, it takes you a little while because you gotta you gotta you gotta get the sledgehammer, you gotta bust that stuff down, you gotta you gotta deprogram, you gotta unlearn what the world taught you, and you gotta tap in the kingdom. But um after a few seasons, I should see something. I should see something. You you, you if you kingdom, you're not complacent, you're not stagnant. I shouldn't look at you where you at today and I come back 365 days later and you still in that condition. You still, you still walking around like that. Come on now. I ain't, I ain't saying you got to be a millionaire. I ain't saying that. I ain't saying that because that ain't everybody goal. What I'm saying is I want to see some growth. That's what God's saying. What a growth at? What a fruit at? What did, what did, what did scripture say? If it ain't no, when it wasn't no fruit on that tree, Jesus was like, oh no, you ain't no good. You just taking up space. I'm about to curse you from the root. You about to be dried up because you ain't producing. Be fruitful and multiply. So number one was seek the kingdom of God because the money that you, the income that you want to earn, that you want to turn your yearly into your monthly, it's in the kingdom. So if you want that, then you got to get in the kingdom. <laughs> and when you get in the kingdom, it's an automatic because it's common wealth. Y'all put that in the comments real quick. I'm finna go to number two. But it's common wealth in the kingdom. I could teach a whole master class from number one. It's common wealth in the kingdom. What does that mean? We all got bank. We all got bank. <laughs> it ain't no, oh, you got more than me. And 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 I you got all the money. I can't get it all. You got all the healing. I can't get it all. You got the man. I can't get no man. You got the woman. I can't get no woman. You happy. I ain't you you took up all the happiness. I ain't got no happiness. Uh-uh, baby. It's commonwealth. Why? Because we all got the same mentality. We all got the same mentality. What do you folks say? What the world be saying? We on the same vibration. <laughs> We got this. We on the same vibration. We all vibe in the same. But what does that mean? We got the same spirit. We got a mentality to know that everything we want is already ours. All I got to do is believe that it's mine, feel like it's mine, walk like it's mine, talk like it's mine. And it's just a matter of time for I'm having it in my hand. That's the law. That's kingdom. That's kingdom. So number two, and I teach this principle in my academy. If you, if you go this route, you will never fail. Number two, identity and vision. Identity and vision. These are kingdom principles. 
Kingdom principles, identity. What does that mean? You got to know who you are. You got to know who you are and not just know who you are as in my name is my name is Latoya O'Keel or my name is such and such. I'm a mother of three. I'm a life coach. I'm a business mentor. I'm a, no, 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 no. Uh -uh. When I when I say my identity, I ain't talk about none of that stuff. I ain't talking about none of that stuff because before I was Latoya O'Keel, before I was somebody's daughter, before I was somebody's sister, before I was somebody's mama, before I was somebody's coach, I was already what I was. I was with God and you were with God and you got to go back to that you. You got to go back to the divine you. When you tap into that, you will know and you will see that nothing will be off limits to you. You'll see that it's a piece of cake. This stuff that you thought was so hard, it's the way you think. It'll be a piece of cake, baby. But you got to know your identity. You got I talked about this in my barbecue or meal do master class. If y'all ain't tapping into that, go to Latoya O'Kill and get the, get the replay, baby. I got them leftovers on the stove for y'all. They still up there. You just got to come get them. And to those of you, to my students that's already in now, keep getting that word. Keep going by replaying that. Repetition is how you're going to break the cycle. Repetition is how you're going to break the curse. See, a lot of the stuff broke when we had the live master class, when we, when we had the live barbecue, because that thing was on fire. But you got to keep going back, replaying the word, replaying the knowledge. That's how it sink into your subconscious, and that's how you begin to reprogram yourself. And you'll see that what you, what you work so hard for, when you change your belief system, when you change your mindset, when you reprogram yourself, this stuff come to you on autopilot. It just come to you. It just come to you. It just come to you like a magnet for it. Stuff that I used to pray for. Stuff that I used to be on my knees and crying to God all night long for. Come on now. I told y'all this morning on Tap In with Toya that God is a God of decency. He is a God of order and decency. God don't give you what you pray for. And we got to stop thinking that. That, oh, I just got to pray. And if I pray, then everything going to be all right. No, it ain't. No, it ain't. Yeah, you do need to pray. You do. You do. Because the scripture don't say if we pray. It say when you pray. So you do need to pray. But you got to understand that it's going to take more than prayer, baby. It's going to take more than prayer. Because God is a God of decency and order. And what I found is when you do things in order... When you're decent and you do it in order and you obey kingdom laws and principles, you ain't even got to pray for it. You ain't even got to pray for it. It'll just, it'll just come to you. God will just automatically release it. Because when God see order, God move. Do you understand me? You can pray and beg and cry all you want to for God to give you that house. You need a better living situation. God, I need a house. I want to be a homeowner. God, bless me with a house. And you keep sitting up thinking that God going to feel sorry for you and God going to bless you with a house and that God going to bless you with a business. Uh-uh. Because when stuff is just handed to you, you don't grow like that. You don't learn like that. But when you, when you tap in, come on now, tap into your identity, that vision. You get that vision from God. You have a vision for the future. Come on now. You get tapped in. Once you know your identity and you and, and you start getting things in order, you say, okay, I want a house. What do I need to do to get this house? Okay, I want a mortgage. I want to get approved for this mortgage. What do I need to do to get approved for this mortgage? Instead of me sitting here cussing these folks out and praying and telling God how wrong they doing me or this, that, and the third, let me educate myself. Let me go look up what I need to get done. Okay, what they gonna be checking for? They gonna be checking at my. They gonna be looking at my credit. They gonna be. They gonna be in my bank accounts because I gotta have the money saved. How much money do I need to have saved to buy this house? If I'm running a business, if I'm a self-employed entrepreneur, what do I need to have in order to get approved to get approved for this mortgage? Okay, I need two years of tax returns. Okay, well I gotta get on my grind. I got to work for two years. I got to get out there and, and, and draw the people. I got to get these people in. I got to serve. I got to give value. I got to show up for my audience. I got to create my LLC. I got to set up my business bank account. Order. Order. When God see that, boom. I got to go back and pay all my old debts. I owe these folks. I promised these folks I was going to pay them, and I ain't paid them. I'm trying to, I'm trying to what they call it, um, 
dispute. I'm trying to dispute this stuff and I'm lying. Talking about I don't know where this came from. Come on now. I don't know where this came from. And you know you went in there and you know you set that bill, Lord. You know you went in there and you got that phone bill. You know you went and bought that car. God is a God of decency and order. So when we get things in order and we do things decent the way they're supposed to be done, we don't just give our word to people be lying. And I'm going to tell y'all something else God just revealed to me. A lot of y'all wonder why you keep attracting people that lie to you. It's because you're lying. It's because you're lying. Who you done told you going to pay them bite and you ain't pay them bite? And this don't just go for people that you know. This go for bill collectors. Because I'm telling you, when you change your mindset, stuff that you used to think, oh, they a big company. They got money. They don't need my money. <laughs> That's how I used to be. Now I can tell y'all. what I know what the conversations be like. Oh, Uncle Sam ain't going to miss this and that, baby. That's the government. They been getting over on folk. This, that, and the third. Oh, oh they... Yeah. These folks up here, baby, they, they the biggest scammers up here, baby. I take me some of this tissue. They ain't going to miss it. I take me some of this paper towel. They ain't going to... How many of y'all... Well, don't say that because it might be some folks... might be some folks watching. <laughs> don't say that, baby. But just do give me a mm-hmm in the spirit. Just give me a mm-hmm in the spirit. And you done touched you a little something. And you said, they ain't going to miss that. Or you done told you a little white lie. You said, mm, it ain't going to matter. She ain't going to know. He ain't going to know. God, no. Come on now. God, no. And God watching. So all this go into, all this go up on the number two. Identity. You knowing who you are. You going back to who you were with God. God told us in the book of Jeremiah, he said, before I formed you, I taught about this in the master class, barbecue and meal do. Before I formed you in your mother's womb, what did he say? I knew you. Y'all hold on. I got to get Lucy right. I got to get Lucy right, baby. Y'all hold on. Let me get Lucy right. Cause you be doing I be doing all that talking, baby. And Lucy get dry. I got to oil Lucy up a little bit, baby. Get Lucy right. So God said in the book of Jeremiah, he says, and God was talking to y'all. He was talking to you. He said, I, yeah, I had to hit them lips, baby. <laughs> I had to hit them lips, baby. Y'all know, y'all, women, y'all know how it is, baby. We can't stand for our lips to get dry. I'd be like, oh my goodness. Why somebody didn't tell me my lips were dry and I was looking like that? Come on now, get me together. Can't be out here representing God looking any kind of way, looking crusty and dusty now. <laughs> I love y'all too, baby. But God said in the book of Jeremiah, he said, before I formed you in your mother's womb, I knew you and you knew me. And we had a thing. We was together. We was together. And he said, I sent you here to fulfill your purpose. Yes, baby. Juicy Lucy. <laughs> I like that, baby. He said, well, I sent you here to fulfill your purpose. But you got to remember who you are. Remember. Who you are, your identity, identity and vision, they go hand in hand. Because when you tap into who you are, the divine you, the Christ you, you'll know that nothing is off limits to you. And then your vision will begin to align with God's vision. Because see, before God give us a vision, we have our own vision. I had a whole vision for myself. I told myself I was going to do this. I was going to do that. I was going to go here. I was going to go there. I was going to work for these folks. And work. God, God came in. And shut down shop. God like, I don't know what you talking about. Because you finna go speak to my people. <laughs> and after me and God went through some tug of war. And I, he kept pushing on me. I push it by. He push it on me. I push it by. Come on now. That's why I ain't studying now, devil. That come talking about this or about that, baby. Because listen. I, I didn't choose it for myself. God chose it for me. God chose it for me. And when you know that God done chose something for you. You're not going to have no peace with it until you accept it. Some of y'all, you gifted in some stuff and you don't want to do that. You want to go do something else. You want to go do something else because you feel like that going to get bring you more peace. or it's going to, you know, make you more money or whatever. But you better do what you gifted at. You better do what God put in you to do. You better do what he called you to do. 
Because it's in you. This is what God told me. He said, when you give me what I want, that when you're going to get what you want. That when you're going to get what you want. Give God what he wants. Because God is about purpose. He's a God of purpose, baby. Give him what he wants, and he's going to give you what you want. So once you know your identity, you then, your vision is going to begin to align with the vision that God has for you. You're going to be able to tap into God's original blueprint and his original plan for you. And you're going to ditch your plan. <laughs> you're going to ditch what you want to do. And you're going to align with what God has for you. Because he knows what's best for you. Y'all put that in the comments. Say, God knows what's best for me. He knows what's best for me. I can, I, I'm, I'm only but so wise. I only have so much intelligence. And out of all the intelligence that I have, it's foolishness to God. He, he, God is a God of infinite wisdom. He has infinite wisdom. There is no end to his wisdom. He knows what's best for you. And it's in his plan for you. So you got to tap into, uh, that's, that was number two, identity and vision. You got to know who you are and you got to know God's blueprint for your life. Number three, number three, we're talking about how to turn your yearly income into your monthly income. And we talk about income for the money. We're talking about get this income so you can make this influence. Because let's just be honest, ain't nobody going to listen to you if you broke down. How you going to influence people for the kingdom of God and you broke down? How you going to influence me for the kingdom of God and you can't pay your light bill? I don't want that. <laughs> How you going to influence me to live for Christ and you need $20 for gas money? How you going to influence me to live for Christ and you complain about the gas prices? Let me, and let me say that. Kingdom folks ain't got no business to complain about no gas prices. If you kingdom, I don't want to hear you complaining about no gas prices. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. We ain't got no business complaining about the price of nothing. Why? Because we know the God that we serve is abundant. He is abundant. Come on now. And you tapped into him so you got the abundance. Especially if he done bless you with the funds to get the gas. Because God done bless some of y'all to where you go to the pump, you put your gas pump in, you put the, hit the little clip and you go sit back in your car, baby. You ain't you watching the pump. You ain't, I remember those days, baby, where I was watching. I was, I was watching that thing. I had to make sure, baby, don't go over a penny because I ain't got a penny more in here. All I got is these $5 and these in quarters that I done went over there and got from my grandma. <laughs> she done gave it to me out of her chain bank. For me to go put $5 in my car. And that one ain't going to get me nowhere but from one pump to the next. <laughs> and I, and listen, I, I remember them days, baby, I, don't, I can't go over a dollar. I mean, a, a, a penny. I can't go over a penny. I would have had to ask somebody for a penny. But look at, some of you now, look at what God done blessed you. And you can go put your pump in, put your thing in the pump, and go sit down. Go drink your drink. Go, you know, drink you some water. Go go listen to you some motivation. Or just go on about your business, baby. And when you hit a little thing, click, you can get out and take it out, pull on off. <laughs> some of y'all, this, this is what God gave me revelation of. Some of you, I'm spilling gas. I know that's right, baby. That's And that's the blessing. That's the abundance of God. But you got to be tapped in. You got to change your mindset. You got to have an abundant mindset. That's in the kingdom. Some of y'all are telling you, you just be want to complain about gas prices because that's what everybody else doing. That's what everybody else doing, and it make for some good conversation, and it make for some good content. Because some of y'all, you know you know you blessed. <laughs> you know you blessed. You know God that brought you a long way. But but what you doing? I'm going to tell you what you're doing. You, you watering yourself down. You watering yourself down and you trying to come off like you ain't got it like that. Because you don't want to make these folks around you uncomfortable. You don't want to make your co-workers uncomfortable. You know you ain't want for you ain't want for nothing like that. Because you if you tapped in now, if you tapped in and you and you got that kingdom mentality, and I'm gonna tell y'all, you either got it or you don't. My eyes are opening more and more. And let me tell you something, you gotta be careful when you ask God for this. Because when he opened your eyes, you can never go back. 
you can never go back. When he open your eyes, people are going to fall off from your life. Because see what they don't tell you. This is what I'm saying. They, they talk about elevation. They talk about all of this stuff going to new levels. But what they don't tell you, well, they tell it to you. But it's another thing when you see it and you experience it for yourself. It's real out here, baby. Do you understand me? When your eyes are open and you see, I was just telling my children in the truck, we were coming home. And they kind of understood me, but not really. But God said, by and by, they'll get it. But I was just telling them, like, my, my discernment, my discernment, like, I, I could see straight through people. I could see straight through them. Any of y'all like that? That's because you're growing, baby. That's because you're getting that knowledge. You elevating God, opening your eyes. You can see straight through people. I was telling them, I, I could see a spirit coming from a mile away. It was a man that approached me at the barbershop today. That's how we get to talk about that conversation. He approached me at the barbershop today when I was taking the boys to get their hair cut. And I was saying that I was, ain't no way. <laughs> ain't no way, child. And I was telling them, now I'm going to be nice. I'm going to be cordial. I'm going to be sweet. But ain't no way. I can spot that spirit from a mile away. I, I saw you coming before you even walked up to me. And I know what's in you. I see that lustful spirit. I see it. Majority of people, when you walk like that, the majority of people ain't even going to come up to you because people, they, they, what y'all know how they say real, recognize real. They, they could, they, yeah, they can spot you. Them spirits in them, they going to, they going to, they going to check you out from afar and they going to say, oh, no, nah, I can't mess with her like that. I can't come hit her with that. I can't come hit her with that. Hey, shouty. Hey, shouty. Hey, shout it. Come here. Let me holler at you. Hey, shout it. I used to hate that. Don't call me no shout it. Hey, shout it. Come. Uh-uh. Ain't no shout <laughs> Ain't no shout it over him. And to my men, my kings. There's some kings out here. There's some kings that been getting that knowledge. Come on now. There's some kings that been waking up to their true kingdom mentality. These women, they see what you own. She knows she can't come at you like that. She can't come at you like that. She can't, she can't sway you with her hips. Come on now, she can't sway you with her thighs. I told y'all, baby, you had a whole chicken box. You got the breast, you got the thighs. Come on now, you got a whole chicken box, baby. But a king ain't looking for that. Yeah, it might catch his eye for a minute, but that discernment should kick in. Ladies, it might catch your eye for a minute, but that discernment gonna kick in. And the Holy Spirit gonna say, bike up. Bike up. Bike up, baby. Y'all put that in the comments. Bike up. That, that, that flesh, because that the Bible talk about that, now the lust of the eye. The lust of the eye, it'll catch you for a minute, and it'll pull you in. And the Holy Spirit say, bike up. That ain't the one. That ain't the one. See, this is deeper than money. This is deep. Even though I'm telling you, I'm talking to y'all about turning your yearly income into your monthly income, this is deeper than money. This go beyond money. This is just a piece of it. That's just a little bitty piece of it. This is about growth. This is about tapping in the kingdom. And when you do that, when you grow and you tap in the kingdom, money is an automatic. Happiness is an automatic. Wealth and health is an automatic. It may not all come at the same time. And it ain't going to all hit you in the same season. Because what the scriptures say, to everything there is a season. So it's going to come a season that you're going to tap into health and you're going to get your body right. Come on now. If, you, if you're not doing that right now, I don't want you to think you're slacking. Because God might be working on something else in you right now. He may be working on that heart right now. He may be working on that unforgiveness right now. Whatever he's working on, just let him work on that. And let everything come in its own season. Patience. Put that in the comments, baby. Patience. Everything going to come in its own season. When, we, when we're kingdom, when we're truly kingdom, we understand that. And we walk with discernment. We don't jump at stuff. Ooh, I had to learn that. Ooh, I had to learn that. I just, ooh. God, listen. God had, God had to spank me so many. Uh-oh, I got a call coming through. Can y'all still hear me? Let me know if my sound's still good. Patience, baby. That's it. That's it. Somebody let me know in the comments. Y'all can still hear me. 
God had to spank me so many times trying to jump, trying to jump. Even now in this message right here, as I'm talking about turning your yearly income into your monthly income, you can't just jump at stuff because it sounds good. You can't just jump at stuff because it sounds good. That bring that bring us into number three. Okay, y'all can hear me good. That bring us into number three. What you do to earn this income, it got to be in your heart. It's got to be in your heart. That's number three. Number one was seek the kingdom of God. Number two, identity and vision. You got to tap into who you are and the vision that God has for you. Number three, it got to be in your heart. Y'all remember that song? We used to sing it in church. It's in my heart. You can't hear a baby leave out and come back in. Some people saying they can hear. Some people saying they can't. Try leaving out, coming back in. Number three, it's got to be in your heart. It's got to be in your heart to serve God. It's got to be in your heart to live in your purpose. It's got to be in your heart for God to be pleased with your life. Because if not, you're just going to be out here doing stuff for the money. Don't jump at these folks' stuff just because they told y'all you can make some money. Just because they selling you on... Uh, the overnight millionaire, this and that, ain't no such thing. <laughs> ain't no such thing. Why? Because you can't change you overnight. The only way that would be possible is if you could change you overnight. Because what they don't tell you is, in order for you to make the million dollars, you got to become a completely different person. The woman or the man that you are today is not a millionaire. And you don't think like a millionaire. This is why these folks in the lottery, with the lottery and stuff, they don't mind giving you millions of dollars. They'll give it to you. Y'all ever wonder how they just hand it over to you? They just gonna hand it over to you. They just gonna hand it over to you. Why? Because they know if you didn't put in the work, if you didn't go through the process, if you didn't, see, they know the laws. Okay, okay, they know the laws. That's one thing I learned about the devil. The devil knows God's laws and principles, and he uses them to win against you. And how he beats you is because you don't have the knowledge. You don't know the way things go on. You don't know the laws. You don't know the principles. But the devil know them, and he's been knowing them all alone. And that's how he's been winning over you. Because listen to me, the only power that ever was and ever will be is the power of God. Do y'all understand me? Put that in your journal because that's definitely a journal note and put some stars around it. The only power that ever was, the only thing that ever worked and ever will work is God. Anybody that taps into what the scriptures say, he reigns on the just as well as the unjust. Anybody that tap into his principles, that tap into his laws, now you have free will. So it is your decision to decide, am I going to use this power for good or I'm going to use this power for evil? That's why if evil is prospering, if evil is winning, that's because they got knowledge of the laws and you don't. That's what the devil used to beat you. And he will always win and he will always, he'll keep tearing you out the frame until you wake up and you say, I know it got to be a better way to do this. Yes, it is a better way to do this, but you got to give up your way of doing things. It is a better way for you to live, but you got to give up your way of living. You got to get it, tap into your kingdom identity, your Christ identity. You got to tap into the vision that God has for you and you got to give up what you want. And it's got to be in your heart. So whatever you're going to do to make this money, you're not doing it for the money, but you're going to do it because it's in your heart. You're going to do it. Y'all remember that video I told y'all three reasons why we do what we do as kingdom ambassadors, as business owners, as entrepreneurs. It's three reasons why we do what we do. And ain't now one of them reasons for the money. So by devil with your ugly self, because ain't now one of them reasons for the money. We do it for the M, the impact. The influence and the outcomes. I want to see you change. I want to see you grow. I want to see you elevate. Come on now. And if you really tapped in and you've been listening to me and you've been hearing these words, I should see some fruit. 
Here come this accountability. I should see some fruit. I don't want you just listening to me because I make you feel good. I don't want you just listening to me because you saying, oh, that country girl knows she can preach. Oh, she knows she anointed. Oh, no, I don't want you listening. If you're not going to grow, don't listen. It'll do you good. It'll do you better than not even hear it. Because when you hear it, you're going to be held accountable for what you did and what you didn't do. That's what it's about. That's what it's about for me. It's about the outcomes. It's about how you're going to turn out after you hear this message. How you're going to turn out after you take this class. It ain't about the money. It ain't about, oh, how many people can I, can I rack in? How, many, how much money can I make from this? No, it's about the impact. Come on now. The influence and the outcome. Is this working for you? Or are you just getting the knowledge and you sitting on it? Come on now. It got to be in your heart. It got to be in your heart. If you do hair, it better be in your heart. You better not be doing it for the money. Do you understand me? If you if you a police officer, it got to be in your heart. Got to be in your heart. Just like Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. said, if you sweep streets, do you understand me? You better be the best street sweeper. <laughs> it better be in your heart. Come on now. Serve. I walked in Starbucks today. I walked in Starbucks today. And I had, because I had got me a drink, I got me a sandwich, but I had to use the bathroom. I went through the drive through so I parked my truck and then I got out and went in, used the bathroom. First of all, when I went in there and used the bathroom, it wasn't no paper towel in the bathroom. No paper towel and they didn't have no blow dry thing in there. To dry your hands. So I said, okay. So then I go to the counter and I wanted me some, some splendor and some sugar. Cause I can't drink them drinks straight like that. I don't know how I don't know how y'all drink, but I can't drink them straight. It, it just ugh. so I needed me some splendor and some sugar. So I stood at the counter and I stood it. <laughs> and I stood it and I stood it. And I say, nah, if I don't say nothing. They ain't going to say nothing. So I had to say, excuse me, ma'am. <laughs> Can I have some Splendor and some sugar? And then she gave it to me. But when I went back out to the truck, I told God, I said, service, service, service. When we learn the principle of service, listen to me, service. You got to make everybody that you come in contact with feel like they are the most important person in that room. Do you understand me? And I ain't just talking something and I don't do it. When I was in Atlanta, Georgia, y'all can ask anybody that was in that was at my conference in Atlanta, Georgia. Everybody that was in that line, everybody that stood up in that line, they spoke. They had an opportunity to speak. We passed the mic around. I was so tired. I ain't tell y'all this, but I was so tired. I thought I was going to fall out. It wasn't Toya no more. It was just the Holy Spirit. Because I, because Toya had done tapped out, baby. And the Holy Spirit tapped in. The Holy Spirit tapped in. Because I had done tapped out. But because I have a heart of service. Because I believe in making every person feel like they the most important person in the room. Come on now. When you do that, your money, your money will never run dry. Your well will never run dry. Why? Because you tapped in to principles. You tapped in to laws. And I don't care who you is, where you come from, laws will work for you. They'll work for you. You got to make them feel like they matter, baby. It's got to be in your heart. But see, this is in my heart. Because somebody else could have did that and, and just came out there and spoke to y'all and left. You wouldn't even got two seconds with the person. They gone. But it's in my heart. Come on now. I don't just look at I don't just look at my people like, oh, them some followers or them some subscribers. Or, no, them my people. Them my people. Them people that, that grow with me. Them people that watch with me. Them people that elevated with me. These are people that, that bought tickets. That traveled from all over the country to come see me. Come on now. How you treat your people? Do you show up for your people? 
I went live this morning on bike tonight. Come on now. Do you show up for your, it's got to be in your heart. You, you can't, you can't fake this. You either got it or you don't. It's, it's in your energy or it ain't. It's there or it ain't. And if it ain't there, you need to go and work on that. You need to go get that together. Because your money ain't going to grow. Ain't nothing going to grow until you get you together. What we said, I got to get me first. I, I, I got to go get my heart right first. And don't spend too much time doing that. Because some of y'all, you using that as an excuse. And you, you, you treat it like you got to be perfect in order for God to use you. And God didn't tell you that. Be available for him to use you. Get yourself together, but don't you spend too much time getting yourself together. Don't let the devil cause that to be a hindrance and an excuse for y'all. Because I wasn't nowhere near together when I got on camera. Do you understand me? I had stuff I was still struggling with, and I had stuff I was still dealing with, but I was available. I was available. If the devil was on my clock when it was time for me to do something for God, by devil, because I got to go do what God told me to do. Come on now, if you serious about purpose, if you are available and you are ready for God to use you, God going to deliver you from all that stuff. It's a process. Y'all put that in the comments. Say it's a process. It don't happen overnight. The race ain't given to the swift. You just got to be available for God to use you. And you got to pick something that's in your heart. Don't pick it because you seen somebody else doing it. And it look good. The lifestyle they live in look good. So you want that lifestyle. Cause when it get tough, like it, like it will, like it will, when it get hard, you gonna say, man, this for the birds. I ain't got time for this. Yeah. You know why you ain't got time? You know why you start and you keep stopping? Cause it ain't in your heart. It ain't in your heart. You know why you, you say you're going to make some, make some videos or you're going to do some lives and you don't do it because it ain't in your heart. You know why you said you was going to do this and do that or you was going to uh, uh, give them this or give them that or whatever you said, whatever commitment you made. You know why you can't stay committed because it ain't in your heart. Give God time to do what he want to do with you. It's not that you can't do it. It's not that the power ain't in you. But you can't stay planted long enough. Come on now. You can't stay rooted and grounded in God long enough for him to grow in you. For him to produce fruit in you. The same laws that apply to nature apply to you. That's what I just heard the Holy Spirit say. I can't go out there in my yard right now. And plant an apple seed and come back tomorrow and eat apples. The same laws that apply to nature apply to you. The day you plant that seed is not the day you're going to eat. It takes consistency. It takes discipline. It takes dedication. And you got to serve. You got to serve. When I walked in that door in Starbucks today, even if they weren't going to get to me right then, a simple, I'll be with you in a moment, ma'am. Good afternoon, ma'am. Thank you for choosing Starbucks or something. Uh, I'll be with you in just a moment. Come on now. Even if you can't answer that email right then, thank you so much for reaching out. We appreciate you taking the time to send an email. Someone from our team will be with you as soon as possible or will be with you within 24 hours or 48 hours. You just have to let people know that they matter. They matter. But it's got to be in your heart. Because if you nasty, come on now, you nasty to people. You cussing them out because they cussed you out. You ain't ready. You ain't ready. You ain't ready. God said, give her two more years because she ain't ready. She won't catch this train. <laughs> he ain't catching this train, baby. He ready to knock if you buck because cause somebody don't win all. Somebody, he ain't ready. You catch the next one. And let me tell you something about the next one. It might be three years. It might be five years. It done happened to me. It done happened to me. I thought I was going to be elevated and God said, you ain't ready. Sit down. Two more years. You ain't ready. And you don't know how long it's going to be. Until you get the next time. And then you can say, man, that was two years. But what that make you, that make you hungry. That make you hungry. You say, you know what? I bet I won't miss the next one. <laughs> I bet I'll catch the next moving of the water. Come on now. I bet I'm going to catch this angel this time, baby. If I got to wrestle with him, he going to give me my stuff. Make you hungry. So number four, 
Number four, we got two more and then we're going to wrap it up. Number four. Oh, this is a good one. This is a good one. Holy Spirit spoke this to me today. Number four. You got to be sold out. You got to be sold out. What does that mean? This is what the Holy Spirit revealed to me today. He said, you can't sell to me unless you sold out. Before I could come on here and try to sell anything to y'all, I had to be sold out. I had to release everything. I had to give up stuff for my vision. Come on now. I had to make sacrifices. Because see, it's something in the sacrifices. Oh, it's something in the sacrifices. It's something about when you had to let go of something that you wanted. It put you on a whole nother level spiritually. It put you on a whole, because you like, this ain't just a hobby. This ain't just something. I, I, I made moves for this. And it, it, it shifts your energy. See, you have a different energy. You attack your dream on a whole nother level when you know I left my job to be here. Come on now. I left somebody that I love to be here with you, to serve you. I'm sold out. And when I'm sold out, then I can sell to you. Then I can sell to you. What does that mean? You can't sell to me unless you sold out. I got to believe in me first. Whatever I'm selling to you, I got to know that I 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 show no know that this thing work. It worked, baby. And can't nobody tell me no different. Joe Blow from up the road, Suzanne, none of these folk. They can't tell me no different because I done tested this. God done tested me with this. I done been proven. Come on now. I done went through the fire. I done went through hell. And you can't tell me because you went with me. Come on now. You didn't slide down the wall with me. You didn't go through with me. You wasn't in the fire with me. You wasn't in the furnace with me. But now that I'm out, come on now. Now that I'm free, oh, the devil going to feel me. You going to feel me. You gonna feel me. What you feel is the hell. Come on now. What you feel is the tears that I cried. What you feel is the days that I had to go without. What you feel is the time when I had to watch my children be without and not have what they needed and not have what they wanted. When other children had it. Come on now. That's what you feel. Cause I'm sold out. I ain't just walk up to this. I was called to this. Come on now. I ain't just walk up to this. This is what you got to know. And if that's not what you can say about your craft, you need to change crafts. Because you ain't about to turn no yearly into no monthly nothing. Because you got to do what's in your heart. And you got to be sold out. So what that means, before you make a dime, before you make any sale, you got to know that what you selling, it works. Why? Because God proved it on you first. He tested it on you first. You've been tried by the fire, baby. And you've been proven. And once God has proven you, you ready. That's when you ready for elevation. Ooh, because I thought so many times years ago that I was ready. Lord, is this, is it now? Am I going to be elevated now? Is it going to happen now? Am I going to get the house now? Am I going to get the man now? Come on now. Is, is it now? And God say, not yet. To everything, my daughter. Come on now. This is what I hear the Holy Spirit saying to y'all. To everything, my daughter, there is a season. Oh, to everything, my son, there is a season. And it won't come a moment before then. But when it's time for it, listen to me. When it's time for it, can't nothing hold it up. Can't nothing stop it. Ain't that funny? Because it ain't going to come one moment too soon. Not a split second. It, that's how God works. He ain't going to give it to you a split second too soon. But it won't come not a millisecond too late. God is on time. Somebody put that in the comments, baby. Say, God is on time. Come on now. God is on time. You're going to get it exactly when you're supposed to have it. Why? Because it is your mentality that brings it to you. You can't sell to me unless you sold out. Energy don't lie. 
Energy don't lie. Come on now. I wouldn't be able to sell a class. I wouldn't be able to sell a master class, a course, a book, a ticket for an event. I wouldn't be able to sell none of this stuff I sell. Except I believe in it. Except I know it. Except I'm sold out to it. See, this can't just be a business. Uh-uh. This ain't just a business. No, no, no. This is this is your life. This is identity. This is vision from God. This ain't just a business. You don't work this like a nine to five. You clock in at nine o'clock and clock out at five and you done. You don't talk about it no more. You don't think about it no more. God give you, when God give you a vision, baby, God don't care where you at. Y'all know I'm telling y'all the truth. Those of you that's tapped in, he don't care where you at. He don't care what you're doing. He don't care who your boo is at that time. He don't care who your bae, your boo thing, your sneaky link. All these four, all these new names, they coming out with these four, baby. Your little secret. <laughs> God don't care who these four see, baby. When God say, oh, it's time. It's time for her to get in her purpose. Uh huh. It's time for her to do what I sent her here to do. She done played around long enough. It's time for him to get in his purpose. He done played around long enough. He done bounced from woman to woman long enough. God says, I have need of you. Tap in, baby, because I have need of you. But it got to be in your heart. So let's recap real quick before we hit number five. Number one, we're talking about how to turn your yearly income into your monthly income. And this is not about the money. This is about the influence. We are trying to influence souls for Christ. But in order for us to do that, we need income. Because ain't nobody going to listen to us and we broke down. If it ain't working for us, then they ain't going to want it. Because they say, if it, if it ain't working for you, how you going to give me something you ain't got? So this is why we got to get the income right so that we can go on to make an influence and we can serve God this is another reason why you want to get your income right. Because you want to be able to serve God with, with, with ease. Like you don't want it to be a burden to serve God. I used to think that it was going to be a burden for me to serve God. But once I truly tapped into kingdom, I understand that it is a joy. It is a pleasure. Come on now. It is a privilege to be tapped into kingdom living. Because kingdom living is next level living. Y'all put that in y'all journal, baby. Kingdom living is next level living. It's not what they sold you on. Uh-uh. See, if you ever saw somebody that say they was they was they was saved or you know a believer or whatever, and they proclaimed themselves to be that, and then you looked at their life and you just got depressed. It made you depressed. It just made you ooh. It just put you in bad spirits. That ain't what we talking about. That ain't what we tell you. You didn't you didn't you didn't meet a person that was truly tapped into kingdom. You met a person that was tapped into religion. That went kingdom. Because let me tell y'all something real quick before we hit, before we recap and hit number five. When you see a person that's living kingdom, you're gonna want you some of that. Do you understand me? You gonna want you some of that. I'm talking about real kingdom. I ain't and, and you can you can't fake this. God told me when all this stuff popped off with the with the Mm, damn it, and all this stuff and all that stuff popped off he told me he said you finna see who got it and who don't because he said you can't fake a belief system you can't fake a belief system you can't fake a belief system you either got it or you don't it's either in you or it ain't come on now it's either in you or it ain't glory be to god and when you see somebody that's truly kingdom you're gonna want you some of that and listen to this if you plug, if you plugged into that person, if you tapped into that person, come on now. Cause we got to normalize not hating on people, not being envious of people, but instead gleaning from these people, asking them, what did you do? How did you do that? Instead of hating on this woman or hating on this man, go to him and ask him, I see what you did. Glory be to God. I see where you came from. And I admire your story. I admire your testimony. That's real strength right there. I'm trying to get to that level, but I just keep getting stuck. I can't, I can't break through. What did you do? If you don't mind sharing with me, what did you do? Was it a book? Was it, was it a book that you read? Was it a course that you took? You know, was it, was it certain prayers you prayed? Was it certain affirmations you spoke? What did you do? I guarantee you, if that person is truly kingdom, they would love to share that with you. They would love to share that with you. Because let me tell y'all something. My heart, and 
and you know when you really tap in with somebody that really want to grow versus somebody that just want to waste your time. And you got to be careful of people that just want to waste your time because they out there. <laughs> You're going to know because it's going to be a, like a jump. It's like a leap in my spirit. It's like my baby, my spiritual baby start leaping when I get amongst people that's hungry, people that really want to grow. Let me tell y'all something. I sit, out, I sit out and talk to them for all day long. I talk to them all night long. I give them everything I got. I share them. I share with them everything I know. These folks don't mind telling y'all, but you're not asking. Come on now. You asking for somebody to put you on. You asking for a shout out. Come on now. You asking for, oh, can you promote my stuff? Can you do this? Can you do that? You looking for a fish. You want them to throw you a fish. But instead of looking for a fish, see if they can teach you how to fish. So you can get it for yourself. Come on now. What we talked about this morning. Build your own door. You ain't got to wait for me or nobody else to come open the door for you. When God done put the tools in you to build your own door. How to turn your yearly income into your monthly income. Number one will seek ye first the kingdom of God. Why? Because everything you need is in the kingdom. It's in the kingdom. That elevation you seeking is in the kingdom. Number two was identity and vision. You got to know who you are in Christ Jesus. And you got to uh, allow your vision to align with the vision. The original blueprint that God has for you. Number three, it's got to be in your heart. Whatever you're selling, it's got to be in your heart. It's got to be something that God put in your heart. You have a strong desire for this. And you are tapped into the outcomes. You love the outcomes that you see people turn out with. You love to see the impact that it have on people's life. You love to be able to influence people in a positive way. You got a servant's heart. It's in your heart. To serve people and see people be better and see people grow. And like I told y'all, if you get these for what they want, they're going to give you what you want. That's what God was speaking to me when I left Starbucks today. He said it's all about service. He said you got to forget about yourself. He said blessed is the man. Come on now. Blessed is the woman that can forget about what they want. Forget about their desire. See, you keep trying to give yourself what you want. You keep trying to give yourself the world. You keep trying to give yourself this and that. It ain't for you to give yourself. You got to forget about yourself. Because as long as I kept trying to give myself this and that, buy myself this and that, I always came up short. Why? Because I was missing the lesson. I was missing the principle. The principle is to serve. You got to forget about yourself, Toya. This ain't about you. Forget you. What you got that you can give somebody? Okay, give it to them. Give it to them. Give it to them. Stop sitting on this stuff. Stop sitting on these gifts. Give it to them. And when you give them what they want, when you make people feel good, baby, these folks, listen, let somebody be talking about you. Let somebody be talking about you. Listen, baby, they'll be about to the close line, these folks. If you make people feel like they matter, you make people feel like they important because they don't have that. People don't have that. And they know the difference when somebody just trying to sell them something and when somebody really tapped in, when somebody really got it in their heart. It might take you longer to get there than the other ones that, that own this overnight success stuff. True enough, it might take you longer to get there. But when you get there, you're going to stay there. When you get there, you're going to build legacy. You're going to have something to pass down to your children. Versus these folks that took the devil ticket and came up overnight he going to get them up there and he going to push them down. He going to push them down. Because they ain't learn. They didn't go through the process. They didn't, they didn't get the mindset to keep what, what they got. And if you don't have the belief system, that's why, these folks, that's why I said it, why these folks don't mind giving you millions of dollars when you win the lottery. Because they know that you didn't, you didn't give nothing to get this. You didn't change your mindset. You didn't change your belief system. I'm a fool and his money will soon part ways. They cannot stay together. They cannot stay together. Some way, somehow, that money going to get right back to the people that believe they're supposed to have it. They believe they deserve it. This is why kingdom, kingdom people, we ain't afraid to release money. We're going to release some money. Do you understand me? Anytime you find somebody that's tight on money, they don't want to let their money go. That ain't kingdom. 
That ain't kingdom because you got a scarcity mindset. You complain about the price of everything. You oh, that's too expensive. That's too. You better watch that. Watch what you speak out of your mouth. I'm telling y'all, you gotta watch the fruit. You gonna know a tree by the fruit that it bears. If they always talking about money short and they tight with money, they holding on to their money, they saving all the time and they and they budgeting all the time. Now, ain't that wrong with having a budget? <laughs> you gonna need a budget because you need to be you know financially wise. But you don't let your budget run you. Why? Because you know your God is abundant. And you either got it or you don't. You can't fake this. You can't fake this. Because I will know. Come on now. We will know. <laughs> It'll be some type of situation where we'll, be, we'll be, a, be together or be around one another or something. And your belief system going to show. You can only lie to me for so long. Come on now. You can only put put out what you think I want to hear for so long. And your, your true belief system will start to show. You can only come on camera and lie to your audience for so long. Till your true belief system will start to show. You can't fake this. You either got it or you don't. So number three was it, it, it got to be in your heart. Number four was you got to be sold out. You can't sell to me. Unless you sold out. If you don't believe in what you're selling, I ain't buying it. <laughs> if it don't work for you, I ain't buying it. And ain't nobody else going to buy it. You got to know that you know that you know. You got to know that you know that you know. And some of y'all, you know, but you haven't worked in it long enough to give yourself time to grow in it. It's like you, you know it. It's your gift. You in the right lane, but you haven't. Stay planted and consistent and work your gift through repetition long enough to, to perfect your craft. It takes time to perfect your craft. That don't happen overnight. When you tap into your gift, it's like raw meat. It's in the raw stages. We know a, a whole meal will come out of that meat. But if don't nobody go in the kitchen and put in the work, it's going gonna, it gonna to continue to be raw meat. And we can't eat raw meat. You got to get your stuff ready for us to eat. Finding it is one thing. Identifying it is one thing. But you got to get that thing ready so that when you deliver it to us, we can eat it. We can eat it. It done went through the fire. It's well done. Come on now. It's well done. I remember I preached a sermon one time in my church. Say it's right. You got, God say you right, baby. You right for the picking. Somebody put that in the comments. Right for the picking, baby. Some of y'all fruit, that thing's so juicy. Listen, it's the right season. It's the right time when you bite into it, baby. Let me tell you something. Juice just going to bust out of that thing because you right. And God say for many of you, he said now. The time is now. He said if you wait any longer, if you keep sitting on what I put in you, God said you're going to be overripe. We don't want no overripe fruit. We want you when you're just right. When you're just right. You're right for the picking, baby. Come on now. Somebody said raw meat will kill you. <laughs> it's so weird. That revelation right there, baby. Because some of these folks that come out here serving their gift. And it raw. And they ain't right that thing. What, what that tell you? It'll mess you up. You better be careful who you listen to. Because it'll mess you up. But you just got to. You just got to. You got to be sold out. You just got to make some sacrifices. You got to give up something. You can't expect to reach levels of success in your business and you didn't give up nothing. You didn't sacrifice nothing. There's a law called cause and effect. Cause and effect. So in this case, what we're talking about right here, how to turn your year, you're going to be turning your yearly income into your monthly income. That's going to be the effect. OK, that's what you're going to get on the end in the outcome. You're, you're transitioning from making fifty thousand dollars a year to fifty thousand dollars a month. That's the effect. But before the effect can happen, there must be a cause. Guess who the cause is? You. <laughs> them sacrifices that you're going to make. Them people that you had to walk away from. Come on now. Them plates that you had to turn down. <laughs> Them, them, them trips to the gym you had to make. Them trips to the trail that you had to make. Come on now. Them days that you had to fast. Them days that you had to take them courses. Them days that you had to go to seminars and workshops and conferences. 
Them days that, them hours and hours that you spent reading books, developing yourself. That's the cause. That's what's going to cause. See, because you can, you got to know and you got to understand that if you're doing all that, this is the law. You're going to reap the benefit, baby. You just got to stay grounded. That's why I tell y'all, some of you are not staying planted long enough for something to grow. You keep uprooting your stuff. You, you drawn away by other desires. You see people doing this and doing that, and then you uproot your plant, and you going over there, and you trying to go over there and plant to them, plant with them. When God done told you, stay rooted, stay grounded, I'm forming your roots. You got to see it. I remember I heard Dr. Miles say that. When you, he said you got to be able to look at a mango seed and see a mango tree. You got to see that before the mango tree manifests, before the mangoes come up on that tree and we eat that fruit, you got to be a visionary. Vision. If you're going to do this, you got to have a vision and you got to be tapped into your vision. You got to be sold out on your vision. You got to be willing to go all the way with your vision. You got to be able to look at that seed and see the end product. Okay, number five. Number five. Improve your self-image. Improve your self-image. How to turn your yearly income into your monthly income. Number one was seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And then those things will be added unto you. Number two, identity and vision. Number three, it's got to be in your heart. Number four, you got to be sold out. You can't sell nothing to me unless you are sold out. Unless you have made sacrifices and you done gave up something and you say, this is it, baby. You got, and then, oh, I just heard the Holy Spirit say, you got to burn the ships. Every point of entry, every road, every ship that will take you back to where you used to be, you got to burn it. Burn it. Get rid of every person that make you feel like you ain't nothing. Do you understand me? Get rid of every person that make you feel like you still that broke down woman from around the corner. Cut that connection. Cut that tie that still make you feel like you that little thug boy because that ain't you no more. Come on now. You're a king. Burn the ships. Cut ties. And make it to well if they wanted to reach you, they couldn't. Burn the ship. See what I'm saying? See, when you done had to give up some stuff, when you done had to let your friend go that you've been friends with for 20 years, come on now, when you done had to let your cousin them go, when you done had to let Lil Ray Ray and Pookie them go, and you done had to get, get cut tied with the person you used to bathe with, and you done walked away from the woman you love, the man you love, but you know they wasn't no good for you, when you done walked away from that broke down job, when you done made some sacrifices, it shifts your energy. You have a different spirit now. You attacking on a whole nother level now. And I will feel that. I'm going to feel that in your energy. I got to feel you. If I don't feel you, I'm not investing. <laughs> I'm like my life coach, baby. Tony Gaskin, point blank, period. <laughs> point blank, period. Do you understand me? If I don't feel you, I need to feel you. If I feel you, you got me. You got me. Do you understand me? If, if I feel you, I'm reaching for that wallet. I be telling them, tell them, bring me my wallet. <laughs> bring me my wallet. Because they got me. I'm finna get this. They got me. I'm saying that as in, I'm hooked. I'm sold. Why? Because I feel it in her energy. I feel it in his energy. He believe in what he talking about. He know what he talking about. Come on now. They sold out. Energy don't lie. You can lie to me. You can lie to me over and over and over again. But if I'm kingdom and I have a spirit of discernment, it's only going to be so long that you can lie to me. So God going to open my eyes up to who you really are. Who are you really? What is your mindset like? Really? Yeah. That don't lie. That don't lie. And it's certain people. Let me, let me elaborate a little bit on that energy don't lie. It's certain people that make y'all feel a certain way. You can't quite put your finger on it. Mm. You can't quite put your finger on it, 
but it's, you just don't like the way they make you feel. They might not say it, like they ain't being disrespectful with their words, but it's a certain type of vibe. It's a certain type of energy. It's a certain type of spirit they put you in that you just don't like it. It, make you, it may make you feel unproductive. It may make you want to go lay down. You, you, you probably was on fire. And then now it's like you just want to go lay down. You just want to go watch TV. You just want to go turn on that old Netflix series. Come on now. Come on now. That's your discernment. That's your intuition. And get this. What we always say when some stuff go down. I knew it. I knew it. Yeah, you knew it. Because that was your intuition. That was your spirit. That was God. That was God letting you know this person is not for you. Why? And how did you know? Because energy don't lie. It's it going to be in that spirit. It's going to be in that spirit, baby. You're going to feel it. You're going to feel it. And deep down in your heart, you knew it all along. You knew it all along. It might have been something about how they looked at you. To anybody else, it wouldn't have been nothing. But you got discernment. So it's something about how they just how they look at you with their eyes, but they kind of look off a little bit. I'm talking to somebody. Come on now. It, and, and then when some stuff go down, you, oh, you been and already called it. You been and already called it. It might, you might not be able to quite put your finger on it, but you, but you probably had a conversation with somebody or you probably had said to yourself, hmm, I don't know. I, I don't, I just don't feel right right now or some off or, you know, or you just say it in your mind. You probably never let the words come out your mouth because some of y'all, some of these folks, you so connected to them, you don't even want to think that. you like, man, uh, uh I don't even want to think that. I don't even want to speak that out my mouth. But deep down in your heart, you know. Why? Because energy don't lie. The spirit of a person, it's going to always tell on them. Do you understand me? When you tap into kingdom, Warning come before destruction and the spirit of that person will always tell on them. I don't care how well they dress. I don't care how good they look. I don't care how good they smell. I don't care if they built like a brick house. I don't care if they built like a stallion. Come on now. I don't care if you got them big broad shoulders, baby. I don't care if you got that nice cut. I don't care if he can wet whatever floats your boat. When you kingdom and you got discernment, even though everything check the box you'll still be like mm. it still be something in you where you just be like something ain't right what is this nagging feeling come on now what is this nagging feeling i keep feeling that's god that's god because that spirit don't lie that energy don't lie don't lie and see when you feel that and and you move accordingly you make sacrifices you cut ties, you do what you need to do in order for the vision. This is why I say that's going to come off in your energy. Now the people that you come and serve, the people that you are speaking to online, the people that you are selling products and services to, they will also feel in your energy that this woman is sold out. But if you still with boo thing that you know ain't no good for you, and it be that little stuff that y'all be doing. <laughs> Come on now. It be that little stuff that y'all be doing on the side and here and there. That's what's affecting your money in your business. Because God ain't going to elevate you because you don't have order. You don't have decent. You you're not doing things decent and in order. Come on now. You still feeding into the lust. You still doing these little things, that little thing, these little things here. Huh? Y'all know them little things. You still doing these little things, them little things. Listen, you got to give them little things to God, baby. Do you understand me? You got to lay them little things on the altar. <laughs> you got to lay them on the altar, baby. You got to give them to Jesus. And you got to get on your face. And I just heard the Holy Spirit say, you got to throw a little fasting in there too. Just like how Jesus told the disciples, these kind of only come out by fasting and praying. Some of these spirits so heavy on y'all and it's such a strong hold, you gonna have to throw a little fasting in there. You gonna have to give up some stuff. And it might not be food, but you're gonna have to give up something. It might be TV. It might be your phone. You might have to fast from certain people. It's something that 
You got to give up anything that is hindering you from growing in God. You spend time away from that thing. You can fast from anything. It don't just have to be food. But certain spirits, they only come out by fasting and praying. Because you're going to have to get them back. Because it's going to come off. It's going to come off. You wouldn't even think that all of this would go into. But when we're talking about God, yeah, it do. Because God ain't going to elevate you like that. Now, you will get some money from Satan. But I'm telling you, you don't want his money. Don't get his money, baby. Because his money come quick. What he, what he did with Jesus, he promised him everything. You can have it right now. You ain't got to go to the cross. I give you the world. I give you the kingdoms. I give you everything. The devil can't give you something he don't own. He can't give you something that ain't his. How he going to give you something that ain't even his? The earth is the Lord's. And the fullness thereof belongs to him. He try to give you something that he ain't even got. And he try to promise you something that's already yours. Ain't that something? The devil try to give you something that he ain't even got. <laughs> so because that ain't his money. That's not his wealth. When he gave it to you. Come on now. You accepted it. It wasn't his to give it to you. And it ain't yours neither. So when the law come to collect. Okay. Come on now. Some of these folk call it karma. You call it what you want to. But when the law come to collect. You gonna end it up, baby. You gonna get. You gonna have to give it up. Do you understand me? And that's when he push you. He push you, and everything you had is gone. Y'all ever heard the saying "easy come, easy go"? Boom, just like that, it's gone. Just like it came quick, it leave quick. So with number five, you gotta improve your self image. The better you feel about yourself, the more your income will increase. This is very, very important. That was number five. Improve your self-image. If you don't think nothing of yourself, how you think you're going to increase anything? How you think you're going to increase your income or anything? The amount of money that you have in your account, the amount of money that you have to circulate, the amount of money that you have to touch and move around, that number is a reflection of how you feel about yourself. The better you feel about yourself, the more money you will have. Why is that? Because money is attracted to people with confidence. Money is attracted to people that are that are in purpose. People that are sold out. Come on now, people that have a vision. And people that are sold out to that vision. People that are bold. People that know what they want. People that know who they are. Remember we said identity. Money going to come find you. And I'm going to tell y'all something. You got to keep it in its place. You got to keep money in its place. Do you understand me? Money is all right until you let it get out of its place. And the devil will try to pull it out of the place that God intended for it to be in. Which God intended for it to be a servant to you. It is a servant to you. Okay. But what happens is the devil will pull it out of that servant role. And he'll put it into the master role. When money becomes your master, you in trouble. You in trouble. And you soon lead to destruction, baby. You never let it become your master. You got to stay close to God. You got to stay close to the kingdom. Stay, keep your ear to the throne. You have to let God be your biggest influence. You have to, not the world, not the world. Because you'll be bound down to the devil tomb. You'll be doing, you'll be doing what's trending. You'll be doing what's hot, what's hot topics. But when you kingdom, you don't do that. You, God could be telling you to do something completely different. Come on now. When you tapped in the kingdom, he'd be telling you to do something completely different. I love y'all so much. I love y'all. I didn't even know I was going to be on here that long. I think I've been on here about two hours. <laughs> the harvest is plentiful, baby. Do you understand me? But the laborers are few. I'm honored and I'm privileged to serve because it's all about service. It's all about service. We cannot impact and influence the way God intended for us to be. We cannot multiply if we don't have the income. It's just the world that we live in. It's the world that we live in. Remember I said God is a God of decency and order. 
decency and order. If you putting money up there on a pedestal and you chasing it and you running behind it and every, it drives everything that you do. Come on now. It's driving everything that you do. What did Jesus tell us? You can't serve God and money. You got to pick one. Everything that we do, every, every, listen to me, every single thing that we do in this world, every human being, we are driven by one or two things. We are being influenced by one or two things. It's either God or money. That's it. That's it. That's why you're doing what you're doing. That's why you li you living how you're living. That's why you you getting up, you know, going, going where you're going. Doing. It's either for God or for money. Who is your master? This is why I say we don't do it for the money. Don't do it for the money. I used to do stuff for the money. That's when I didn't have the knowledge. I didn't have the knowledge. When I woke up and I realized who I was, I said, never again. I'll never do. I would, that's the worst reason that you could do anything for the money. And do you not know that if you go and get a job at McDonald's and you work a minimum wage job at McDonald's and you are there just for the money, do you not know that you just like the man that's on corporate Wall Street and he's making millions of dollars and he just there for the money? Both of y'all are servants to the money. It don't matter. Ain't that crazy? It don't matter how much. It don't matter if it's a hundred dollar check or if it's a hundred million dollar check. It's people that's buying down for a hundred dollar check. Just like if folks buying down for a hundred million dollar check. The devil don't care how he gets you to bow down, just as long as he gets you to bow down. You see what I'm saying? It don't matter. It don't matter. If you sweep the streets and you say, I'm just out here because they pay because I need this check. When we say stuff like that, we don't believe God to be God. We don't believe God to be God. If you kingdom, come on now. It shouldn't be five years, 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, and you still working a job that you hate. You still working a job that you hate. What we what the scriptures say, what we know. You're going to know a tree by the fruit that it bears. That knowledge is only knowledge if it's working for you. It ain't got to be instant overnight success, but I got to see some growth. I got to see some growth. I got to see something. I got to see some elevation. I got to see something. And if, if I'm not seeing that, then I got to move accordingly. Because when you hang around people that are stagnant and complacent, it's going to stunt your growth. It's going to stunt your growth. And some of y'all, you love these people so much and you're not moving accordingly. And it's stunning your growth. It's hindering your progress. You're supposed to bing turn your yearly income into your monthly income. But because of the people that's around you and how they think, you can't, you can't shift to that next level. You can't shift. You wonder why you done did everything within yourself that need to be done, but it still ain't happening. Check your circle. Because you're going to be influenced by the people that's around you, whether you want to be or not. You can't help that. You're going to be influenced by them. And they ain't even got to say nothing. They can just come and sit around you. That energy, that spirit that's in them, it's, it's like a force field, baby. It, it, it radiates from out. And God revealed this to me. I'm going to let y'all go. But he said, just like you can have a godly glow, you can have a negative glow. You can have a negative glow. It's people that, that got negative glows. Just like you see somebody that's, that has a godly glow and it's like a light is shining from, from within them and it's like a whole force field. Like anybody that come within them, they come close to them in proximity to them or get on the phone with them or, or call with them. They get happy like they're they being affected by this person in a positive way. It's people that got negative glows. It's people that got negative force fields of energy around them. Negative force fields, that negative spirit is just radiating from them. And if you sit around that, come on now. Come on now, because I'm, I'm telling y'all. Oh, my God. I'm telling y'all. What, what, what you don't know, you don't know until you know. Like, you don't know how it is to really elevate until you start elevating. And when you start elevating, you be like, man, this is what they were talking about. This is what they were talking about. This, I ain't, wow. This is what they were talking about. Because you become a completely different person. 
and the old you is like a past life it's like a past life you it seemed like it's so many so many light years away from you you like man i settled for that i dealt with that Ooh. lord forgive me for i knew not what i was doing <laughs> I love y'all so much, baby. To those of you that didn't tap in this morning, um, don't forget to go to Latoya O'Kill Academy and use your coupon code. The coupon code is WINNER. It's all lowercase, W-I-N-N-E-R. Click the link in my bio here on Instagram or if you watch it from YouTube. Y'all excuse me. If you watch it from YouTube, click the link. Um, I'm going to have it down there in the description. Click the link in the description and use your coupon code, baby. Get 30% off your next course. If you ain't signed up for the I Am The One Masterclass, that's, that'd be a good time to use your coupon code. And if it's a course on the academy that you've been, you've been eyeballing, go and use your code, baby, and get your course. It's going to take 30% off, and that includes the Life Coach Certification. I know I said I was gonna let some of y'all on, but I'm 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 baby, I'm like Jesus. I'm like Jesus right now. The virtue has left my body. <laughs> I done pulled out, baby, and the virtue has left my body. Okay, so I gotta go recharge so I can be ready for tapping in with Toya in the morning. Okay. 8 a.m. Central Standard Time. So uh y'all make sure y'all tap in in the morning. We're gonna be live again right here on Instagram at 8 a.m. Central Standard Time. The code is WINNER and it's all lowercase W-I-N-N-E-R WINNER. I'm about to go feed these children, baby, and get this get this shower and that gonna be all she wrote. <laughs> that gonna be all she wrote, baby. I love y'all so much. I love y'all so much. Mmm. It's, 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 it's something new that God has for you. It's something new. He's doing a new thing. He's doing a new thing. And I don't want you to miss it. I don't want you to miss it. Mm. Every chance I get to come on here, I'm going to come on. Because I don't, I don't want you to miss it. I missed a lot of trains in my life. <laughs> I missed a lot of moves of God in my life that I, didn't, that I know I should have been on that train. I know I should have caught that opportunity. And I be doggone it. I ain't missing no more. Somebody said, what was number six? We just had five, baby. It wasn't no number six. We just had five. Number one was seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Number two was identity and vision. Number three was it's got to be in your heart. Number four, you got to be sold out. You can't sell to me unless you sold out. Number five, improve your self-image. The better you feel about yourself, the more your income will increase. That's straight from the Holy Spirit. <laughs> and um, going back to like with the sold out, being sold out. You, I just heard the Holy Spirit say, you have to model whatever it is that you sell. Mm. To get Lucy ready. <laughs> yes, baby, I got, I got Lucy ready. I got Lucy ready, right? You know, I have to keep me some on deck, baby. Holy Spirit say, you got to model whatever you sell. Divine ones on fire. So, just like with some lip gloss. If I was selling lip gloss, guess what? Every time y'all see me, my lips going to be popping. And I'm wearing my stuff. <laughs> I'm be wearing my stuff. And I'm going to be modeling my stuff. And you going to say, you might not even know I sell lip gloss, but you might say, you know what? Your lips always be popping, baby. Your lip gloss be popping. I sell lip gloss. Oh, you do. And you got me because you modeled your stuff. You walk, you walk it out. Before you even open your mouth, you walking it out. You walking it out. If I'm teaching purpose, if I'm teaching gifts, if I'm teaching tap into purpose, I ought to be in my purpose. <laughs> I ought to be in my purpose. I ought to have some evidence. If I'm if I'm a coach, 
and I'm I, if I'm a transformation coach or if I'm, if my message is about transformation, helping you transform, you should see some transformation. I shouldn't look like I looked five years ago. Now, I might not have a six pipe, <laughs> but you're going to see some evidence of some growth. You're going to see some if it wasn't but 10 pounds I lost or, or 15 that I lost. And that I kept off. Because it's one thing to do something, but it's another thing to maintain what you did. So you got to model. You got to model what you what you serving. What you selling me, I want to see it in you. I want to see it working for you. I want to see that you proud of it. I want to see, and this is your clients. I'm speaking on behalf of y'all clients, your future clients, your future customers. I want to... If you're selling t-shirts, I want to see you in some of your t-shirts. I want to see you proud in your stuff. I want to see you. Come on now. Model it. Believe in it. Be sold out. And then that's how you're going to sell me. And you can't fake it. You either got it or you don't. I love y'all so much. Yes, you must love what you do. Look how long I've been on here. That's because I love what I do. I love what I do. And I'm going to tell you, your gift, your actual gift may not be something that you enjoy. A lot of times what you gifted in, what you're naturally talented at, you might don't enjoy that. But you should, you should be, you should enjoy the outcome of it. Like what it does for people. What it See, this is why I say you got to have a servant's heart and it's just got to be in your heart. Because even though I, I have always known that I was supposed to preach, I didn't I didn't want to preach. <laughs> I didn't like within myself, I didn't want to do that. And I and I kind of really don't even like preaching. I'd be like, Lord, you know, sometimes I used to be like that. But I love I love the me that he made me to be as I came into the knowledge. But I used to struggle with that. I used to be like, Lord, I don't want to be loud. I don't want to be hollering at folks. You know, I don't, I don't want to be, and I see that about my audience too. I see that about my divine one. Y'all like when I be preaching, baby. Y'all like me. <laughs> Listen, y'all like when I be breaking that word, baby. Y'all like when I hit y'all with that God said this and God said that. And I don't just be putting no title on stuff. God be done really said that stuff to me. I said, Lord, they like that word now. They like that word. God said, uh-huh, but this season you're going to hit them with some education. They're going to be getting that education and that accountability because too much word, just word, too much of that word, it can actually do more damage to you than help you. If you just getting just word and nothing but word, come on now. If you just getting motivation, motivation, prophetic, 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 that'll do more damage than growth, than growth. Because you just getting prophetic, prophetic, prophetic. Oh, motivation, motivation, motivation. Word, word, word. God said this, God said that. A lot of times God ain't saying nothing. God ain't speaking. God want to see what you're doing. What you're doing with the word I gave you three months ago. What you're doing with the word I gave you six months ago. Stop looking for what God said and start taking action on what you done already wrote down in your journal. What you done already heard. What you doing with what he said last year. You ain't executed on that. Why are you looking for a new word? Why are you looking for a prophetic word? Why are you looking for another God said? When toy you going to come back on and preach? When you take that word from last year and execute it. When I see some fruit from that word from last year. When I see some fruit from them other videos. Come on now. This ain't just about you getting word. You getting word. Because we know how to go. We it's so listen, it's so many preachers out here that can give y'all a good word. If word wasn't if that was enough, come on now. It make you feel good in that moment. But then when the motivation leave, see what I'm saying? So we need education. We need to get the knowledge. It ain't always about hollering and preaching and making folks feel good and speaking in tongues and prophesying to folks and slapping folks and stuff. It ain't always about that. Sometimes you got to slow down, you got to calm down, and you got to get down, and you got to teach the people. Because if I keep preaching to you, but I don't see no growth, I don't see you taking this stuff and running with it, I don't see you becoming a better person, I don't see transformation, 
I'm not hearing about yo yo you leveling up. I'm not hearing about your yo uh your health reports changing, your bank accounts ain't changing, everything is stagnant. You getting too much word. You getting too much word and you need to get some education. You need to get you need to slow down and get that knowledge. Get some education. And you need you need education and you need accountability. Come on now. Cause God gonna check the temperature of the people. This is why we gotta keep our ear to the throne. When you kingdom, you don't do stuff from worldly trends and hot topics and stuff. You keep your ear to God's mouth. And whatever God tell you to do, God telling you what to do and what to say because God know the temperature of the people. He know what's going on in the land. He know what his people need. And he gonna give you a message. And not just for a preacher, but for anybody, for any business or bi any business owner or service provider. God might tell you, take that product off the shelf right now. We ain't selling that this year. Or we're we going to do something else. We're going to do something new. We're going to do something different. Do what he tell you to do because he know what's going on in the land. He know the temperature of the people. He ain't going to have you serving up some hot and sizzling to ice cold people. So you got to stay close to God. Stay close to him. Ask him for his wisdom. Ask him for his wisdom. That wasn't on the list, but add that too, baby. That's a bonus one. Ask God for his wisdom. Ask God. Say, Lord, give me the wisdom to turn my yearly income into my monthly income. Lord, I'm making $20,000 a year. I'm making $40,000 a year. I'm making $60,000, $70,000, $80,000, dollars a year. And so that I can become a better influencer for you, for the kingdom. I want to make that a month. I want to make that a month. I want to make 80K a month. I want to make 60K a month. Come on now. And then you, you ask him, you say, now, nah, you tell him, you say, Lord, I, I don't know how to do it. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I need to set into place to get this done. But Lord, if you give me your wisdom, if any of you lack wisdom, if you want to do something and you don't know how to do it, who should you go to? Let him go to God. Let him ask God. God, give me the wisdom to raise my children. Give me the wisdom to be a wife. Give me the wisdom to be a husband. Give me the wisdom to service my clients. Give me the wisdom. Father, teach me your laws, your principles. Read Proverbs. Read Proverbs. Tap into them principles. Tap into them principles. Because they was here long before you. And they're going to be here long after you leave. And the sooner you tap into them, the easier your life going to be. Your life is hard and it's a struggle because you're going against principles. You're trying to do things your way instead of God's way. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> I love y'all so much. Use your coupon code WINNER and go to Latoya O'Kill Academy. Get 30% off your next course. I'll see y'all in the morning. Come get tapped in, baby.